That's the end of the sparrow. Grab the sparrow's tail, you know, but playing with the sparrow in Zenkion. And then another turn, but not 180 degrees, 90, you know. So a quarter circle. Just watch one time. Step and that's it. Oh, there's a change in direction. And one step and a turn. One more time with a little bit more explanation and take the snapshots. Yes, that, that's what we are beginning with. The snapshot, ending snapshot f uh, of the sparrow. And in the first learning segment, don't pay too much, much attention to the arms. Because that's the next snap snapshot. Standing in your right leg. The left is very narrow, narrow stance, but even lifted up here. Take care of the room, of the space in front of you. This is in the height of your middle chest. This is something new. Uh, I don't know the English word, it's, we call it Schnabelhand, you know, it's, uh, the, the mouth of a, of a sparrow, of a bird, I don't know, what's Schnabel in English. Bring all your fingertips together around the thumb and it's meant to be loose, you know, if you are grabbing the opponent's arm, you're not really grabbing, you're letting the lower side open, you know, so if the opponent is uh, like to go away, let him or let her go, you know, that's a little bit different and that's mainly this Schnabel hand, I have to look up this Schnabel, that's one snapshot. Narrow stand, left heel up, this hand, loose shoulder, loose elbow and the space in front of you. Then, as you know from the ordinary walking exercises, opening up your left leg in the hip without rotation of the hip, just preparation of the step and then Distributing your weight, this hand is standing in the room, upper body to the left and something like a push without a push. One more time, that's it. For the first, first time it's enough, you know, the snapshots. Snapshot. Snapshot, snapshot, I think that's enough for today already, it's plenty to learn, you know, especially in this format, you know, on the meadow you can go around your teacher and look from different angles and so forth, it sounds a little bit ridiculous but it's needed you know in the first place you are learning by visual by the view you know and feeling even some of these movements you have to touch your master and feel the inner muscles and so forth how he or she is relaxing in some places it's really helpful to feel in uh, 
through your hand when you are touching your master or your yes and you can feel what the the body of your master is doing it's very very exciting <laughs> i don't know can learn very much by this so it's not just uh, books and watching videos okay already collecting the tree